So friends, today our topic is on reproductive organs of flowers. Okay, so basically there is flowers. Flowers contain male and female reproductive organs. Okay, basically the flowers they contain male and female reproductive organs. Okay, they're not like the simply the flowers. Okay, like they contain male and female reproductive organs. Okay, so let's move on. Flowers have got sweet smelling and bright colors to attract insects okay the flowers they have got like they're scented and they have got sweet smelling because to attract the insects the animals come to feed on the sugary nectar okay when they attract the insects or the animals they come to feed on the sugary nectar okay so basically this is like the main point if you want to learn it you can also get a screenshot of this okay friends as you know flowers contain the male and female reproductive organs okay Flower, friends now let's see how the male and female reproductive organs are so basically this is the male reproductive organ and this is the female reproductive organ okay the plants which contain the male and female the flowers which contain the male and female reproductive parts which contain the both of these organs are called the perfect flowers okay some of them contain a male and some of them contain the female but the plants which contains the both are called the perfect flowers for example like as hippocas and rose okay so in the male as you can see now at first now let's turn to the male one okay so basically this is the anther okay the anther is where the pollen is made okay pollen grains pollen grains contain male reproductive cells okay now this is filament okay the stack is called a filament now let's go to the female one this is the stigma 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 is a st stigma is sticky pollen sticks to this during pollination okay so this is style style is a stalk that holds the stigma in the air to collect pollen now this is ovary ovary protects the ovals and this is ovule ovule they like their eggs contains female reproductive cells okay anther contain male reproductive cells and ovule contain female reproductive cells okay basically friends i hope you have understand this i have got this uh, diagram okay from my book friends as you can see these are the petals okay they're the bright colors to to attract the insects okay so these are the male reproductive organs okay and they are called as they are uh, they are called as stamen okay and uh, these are the sepals okay they protect the flower it is in bud okay and this is the nectar which the insects or animals come to feed and this is a male reproductive organ okay and the pollen grains they go from here okay to there okay friends now i will also tell you that like this is really important to learn about the plant about the plants reproductive organs okay the flowers you may see the pollen grain in in some of the flowers okay you can in your garden you can watch like there are or somewhere else you can see there are some of the there are some of the flowers which you can see the pollen grains okay they're like the like little okay so this is what it is about i hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment thank you